is an ABC 7 storm track weather first alert. Good evening, everyone. Let's get right into our Doppler radar as storms are currently moving into the area. So I want to give you an idea of where we're seeing those storms at this very moment. We look in at El Paso County. We could see some storms are popping up in central El Paso County, but also to the south of El Paso. All these storms are moving up to the north, so it is very likely those of you who live in central El Paso as well as east El Paso will be getting in on some rain very shortly here. We are seeing lightning as well. So you'll probably be hearing some thunder. So if you're outside at your barbecue right now, probably want to start getting your stuff inside so you don't have to worry about it for the next couple hours. We're still tracking some storms across Hudspeth and Culberson County with lightning associated th with them as well. So far, I haven't been seeing any hail coming out of these storms, but that's not to say it's impossible. We definitely could see some hail, but a lot of these storms are not looking to be severe for the next couple days. I do want to get right into our future track model as well as things have changed. So if you're looking at tonight at 7 o'clock, look at all this activity that we could be tracking across our Doppler radar across El Paso County, Otero County, as well as Doniana County. Once again, all these storms are moving up to the north. So as they track over the same areas, if you have a storm that moved right over here in East El Paso, if you had two storms move over them, that means we could very likely be seeing flash flooding in those areas. As you could see by tonight at nine, a lot of that moisture will still be in our area, but it looks like overall, most of the moisture tonight will be off to our east, but I do expect seeing some storms developing over El Paso and Las Cruces tonight as well. Now. This has changed as well. Starting tomorrow morning, we are expecting some scattered rain showers to be developed by then. Once again, still moving from the south to the north. Looks like they'll stick around through 12 o'clock tomorrow. We might get a little break between 12 and 6 o'clock. We still could get a couple rain showers in between then. But, but after 6, look at this. A lot of activity on the radar, and we are also seeing the red colors. So, to me, that means we're going to be tracking thunderstorms tomorrow. I'll be here. I'm filling in for Doppler Dave. So I'll be here getting you through these storms and you could see a lot of activity on our radar all across El Paso County, Doniana County, Hudspeth and Otero County. So expect a very rainy evening on your Monday and Tuesday morning, waking up to some rain showers once again. And then we'll see more showers and thunderstorms develop Tuesday afternoon as well. So we're in for a lot of rain. We're in for some flash flooding as well. Five o'clock, scattered thunderstorms across the area. That'll stick around throughout Tuesday evening as well. After Wednesday, we should finally start to dry out. Here's what you could expect. We are expecting